I follow an Instagram account called Cheap Old Houses and it is like my favorite thing in the world. They share all of these pictures of like architectural marvels that have kind of fallen into disrepair, maybe kind of as an understatement. <laughs> and so they're now being listed for very cheap. I was looking at this one yesterday and look at the woodwork in this house. Like the detail and the craftsmanship that goes into these is just unbelievable. And I'll admit that some of them kind of have haunted vibes, but they are just all so pretty. And I really, really enjoy looking at photos of them. It always makes me feel kind of inspired to maybe try and build something like this in The Sims. Yeah, this one's got super haunted vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. So this one, for example, is being sold for $1,000. The problem is that it's gonna need a few hundred thousand dollars in repairs for it to be like <laughs> livable and functional. So often these kind of houses get torn down or like they end up ripping out a lot of the character. Are you kidding? Like, look at this. There's a purple bathroom on the inside. Wow. I don't know about some of the wall color choices, but that, you know, that's fixable. <laughs> This kind of haunted vibes, not gonna lie. But look, it's just, they're so nice. So here's my thing. I think that we should try to build one of these in The Sims. I think I'll try and make mine look a bit more new, but I really, really like this one. It apparently has dangerous water damage to the structure. Dangerous water damage? Yikes. <laughs> At least in The Sims, it'll be fine. I think I might try and build this in San Sequoia because it has slightly craftsman vibes and I'm not gonna try and copy the floor plan or anything. I'm mostly just gonna try and base it off of this picture. So I'm kind of just trying to build the front. It never ends well for me when I try and recreate things exactly in The Sims because the scale's just not right. So I'm just gonna do what I can and let myself be inspired by it, okay? And actually, while I do this, let me take a second and tell you about the sponsor of today's YouTube video, Word Farm Adventure. Many of you that have been watching my videos for a couple years are maybe already familiar with this game because they've been a huge supporter of my channel for a long time. And you know how much I love my Word games. So in Word Farm Adventure, you solve crossword puzzles and word scrabble missions, all while working to uncover a story and fix up your farm. There are so many levels to choose from and amazing locations to rebuild, including the farm and the villa and a bunch more that are coming soon. The more levels you win, the more tasks you can complete, and the quicker you can restore the villa back to its former glory. Honestly, this game has been a lifesaver for me recently because as you know, I've been sick, so I've been having a lot of couch time. I'm not kidding. Yesterday, I felt too physically weak to hold a book. So I've been relying on my phone a lot and playing this game a ton. It's really relaxing to play, but it also kind of keeps you on your toes because it can be kind of challenging at times like any puzzle game. Me and Dan have actually been having a ton of fun playing it together. So if you're anything like me and you like word games and you like fixing stuff up, I think you're gonna love it. It's such a unique game. It's actually the first ever game to cross word puzzles with Scape Adventures. Word Farm Adventure is available now on iOS and Android and if you're interested you can download it for free using the link down below. And if you install the game now, you'll get my welcome bonus. So a huge thank you again to Word Farm Adventure for sponsoring today's video. And with that, let's go ahead and get back into the build. I've never really built anything that is this shape before. Like it's kind of a strange exterior, at least for me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I thought I had it, but that's not right. That's not right. I might need to make this on a different lot. I think it needs to be like long and skinny. Maybe that's the problem. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no good either, is it? No, no, it's not. Let me, let me do a little redo here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with the San Sequoia thing. It needs to be on a lot like this, where it's like long and skinny. I guess the other alternative would be for us to make it like short and wide. <laughs> Sorry, that looks worse than I thought it was going to. Um, huh. Okay. It never, ever, ever goes how you think it's going to. I'm telling you, every single time you try and make something in The Sims, it's never gonna look right. I need this to be like shorter. <laughs> I need this wall to not be as tall as it is, but you can't make short than short wall height. Oh, oh, that's better. Okay, hold on. I, I put like a second roof so that way it's not as long and it looks like a million times better. Okay, <laughs> see, we're getting somewhere. Do we think we should wrap the porch around? I don't know. So part of me kind of thinks that wrapping the porch around is a good way to take up more of the lot. It's just that the actual house does not have a wraparound porch, but I don't think that matters too much. It might even be kind of fun if we put like a sunroom. The actual house doesn't have a sunroom either, but that doesn't mean that we can't have a sunroom. You must take your inspiration from somewhere. <laughs> and my inspiration is from sunrooms. In real life, we do kind of ugly things with the exteriors of buildings. Like, I think the back could be quite simple. I feel like something along these lines 
ones is maybe not even bad. Although maybe we should put like, hold on. How about something like this? I can try and make that into a really cute breakfast nook or something. Oh, okay. That's a fun detail. Let's try that. So here's the interior layout. It is not big. <laughs> I did not realize how small it was inside. This always happens to me. I always like overdo it with the exterior and then I think, oh, it's gonna be huge. And then I look inside and mm, that's a two bedroom house maybe a two bedroom house. There's four bedrooms in that real life house and ours has space for maybe two. <laughs> Whoopsies, sorry, sorry. In real life, it's kind of got like that sagey green accent color. So I think I might try and do that here too. I think I kind of prefer the real life like double columns, but these kind of, they look like double columns because of the thickness to it. And they have a slightly fancier thing up top. It almost, I don't know, not like that, but I, I think we can do this. I think we can make this work. I want to do some sort of stone staircase. This is from Seasons. It's totally not the same color like at all, but I'm wondering if maybe we can pretend that it works. We can just try. I think it needs to have a lot of like dark accent colors for it to make sense. So in real life, it's got kind of like this get together texture to it almost. Obviously theirs is painted green and ours cannot be because <laughs> we don't have green for this texture. We can maybe do it gray though because the gray kind of matches the gray of the stone. I'm just gonna look at this for a sec and see if I can combine the windows at all and have it look good and if not we'll scrap this and do something different. Oh, I think that they have little bay windows here too. This shouldn't be flat, that's boring. Okay, already an improvement, I think. Oh my, <laughs> that was what I was worried about. The green, ugh. it's got like the dark wood, green trim, dark wood inside. That's, that's totally the vibes of a house like this. I guess that's fine because we can do, we can do dark wood. Like, don't get me wrong. We've got dark wood accents. Why does it auto place like that? Why would you think I would want it to auto place like that? Honest question. Okay, that's fine. I'll just put something plain everywhere. It's too much. It is really too much. Okay, so I think I'm gonna probably try and do my own windows up here. I think what I'll do is like alt place them a little bit so I can make it look like one big window. So that's step one. I will probably use those again on this little bay window. And maybe I'll do the same thing where I layer them. I guess in real life, it's a bit smaller of a window, maybe just like two. It's a lot of windows, like I'll admit it. There's a lot going on up here, but that's normal. And I think to be expected from a house like this. I mean, it looks like the real one. So that means it's normal, right? I don't think I'm gonna use this third story. I don't really see myself putting anything up here. I guess it's not that small. So we maybe could have a ladder up there somehow, but we'll see. It depends how the floor plan works out. I may come back and try and do the back windows after I've thought more about the floor plan because I kind of want to figure out how this is gonna be spaced out first and then we can go back and add to it all. Oh no, <laughs> it's so small. It is so, so, so small on the inside. Yikes, okay. Um, so here's what I'm thinking initially for this side. I feel like this would make for a pretty good kitchen and dining room. I think I should have it be kind of closed off too. Oh, look at that. Why, why? Answer me this. Why did the green have that weird strange shape? <laughs> okay, I wanna use this archway, but it seems like it's kind of a waste of space, especially in here. Cause we're gonna have the kitchen cabinets be, oh, I guess it can line up with it. That's not too bad. I want the kitchen cabinets to be like this. Again, old house, so it can be quite tight. This room is ridiculous. It's so skinny, <laughs> but we can fit a small table in there. Kind of like a breakfast nook. I kind of wish that this was, open, but it being open is maybe not good. I don't know. We just don't have anything that matches this archway. There's no like smaller version of that. So I guess there could be a door. I always prefer for things to be open with like archways and stuff, but it's not weird to have a door. Like that's so normal. Even houses that get built more recently in real life, that's so normal. So then this would be the living room. Probably not that fireplace. <laughs> maybe like this fireplace and we get a small sofa. I don't really know how big it should be. That's probably on the big side, but something like that. And then I'm kind of leaning towards like two living rooms. This is like a big old fancy house. This was gonna be a sunroom and now it's the kitchen. So oopsies, but that's okay. That's not too bad. The idea of a secondary living room like this. It could also be like a card table room. I don't know. We can think about that more. And then upstairs, I guess, realistically. Um, <laughs> okay, so upstairs, the situation is quite dire. Uh, I think that we can fit a very, 
very small bathroom up here. Nobody wants it to be that small. Nobody does. But it could be. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a good idea. I think there should be a ladder right here. Because then you can actually use this upstairs. A ladder's in kind of an annoying spot, I'll admit it. But that's okay. We can put a door. So I'll have like door there, door here. We still have the two bedrooms. This one is a little bit bigger and we could probably put a half bathroom up here. So at least like a toilet and a sink. If you've got the university pack, you can do the skinny shower in rooms like this. It looks like it won't work. It does. Trust me, I've done it a million times because they can walk on top of this. So this is a fully functional full bathroom. Imagine I put an extra bathroom up here and that's what the ladder is for. I won't do that. I think it's going to be like storage, but we do need to find some sort of extra bathroom. And I don't know how to go about that. I think it'd be good if we had a bathroom downstairs. I guess I could steal some space from here. I hate this. But if there was a bigger bathroom downstairs, I guess this could become like an office library sort of thing. And then we have that secondary bathroom downstairs and that has space for a tub. Okay, it's weird. <laughs> it's really, really weird. I'm kind of tempted and this is probably bad, but I'm kind of tempted to like extend this. Maybe I get rid of this part or we like do it like that. I don't know. That changes the whole shape of the exterior though. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Well, the roofs like that kind of line up, so that might be okay. It does make it, oh wait, no, never mind. If it's like that, where does the bed go? Because you can't like stick it in the corner. The shape, it's a really weird like oval room. No, 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 that can't do. That simply will not do. I guess I could just steal space and make it instead of rounded. Oh no, it could be squared off a little bit more. Squared off still looks good and then it gives us some extra space. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, maybe a single window could go here in the stairwell. Yeah, I just don't really love the back of this house. There's something about it that's like really off to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I always do. Well, that's good because the bedrooms are a little bit bigger now. So that's kind of a win. Um, In this space downstairs, I'm thinking about different windows options. We do have this giant one. Of course, I cannot center it <laughs> with how I've got the windows placed. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, oh, maybe that could go here. Do you think it would be okay if the back was like really strangely not windowed? Cause I guess I could put a tree there or something to kind of cover it and make it not so obvious. It's supposed to be old and like weird stuff does happen with old houses. It's not that unheard of. I think the green roof is kind of fun. It has that same kind of like sagey green color to it, which is perfect. I don't know if I've ever used that swatch. I kind of shy away from this particular roof texture because it's the default one. So even when it's in a different color, I feel like it looks a bit strange. I've left this wallpaper on for a while because I was trying to see if I could like it, but it's not really, I don't know. It's just not really speaking to me, I guess. I'm gonna get some wood floors. I guess we're doing dark everywhere. Don't know if I like that either. Oh, and this definitely needs to change. Okay, that doesn't really match. Do none of them match? Do we just like not have a, a wood color that is right? Uh. I'll just do a darker one, it's fine. So one bonus is that we have that sagey green color as a wallpaper. However, <laughs> I don't think it looks very good like that. As of right now, I'm actually kind of thinking that what we have is good. I thought I didn't like it, but like the more I think about it, the more it's kind of growing on me. I wonder if I got some columns to have like some thicker detailing on the edges. And then if we tried to repaint a bit. Like in this part, I think it'd be better off if there was no, oh my god. I was gonna say it'd be better off if there was no lines, but you can't do that. <laughs> It won't let you do that, so never mind. Let me go through and try and add in some details elsewhere, because maybe once we have some more of that, I'll start to like it better. I think we need to have like a proper chimney. I was trying to have it be tall and like on the outside of the building like this, but something always looks a bit off with this shape of roof and then like the wall chimneys. That's a real chimney now, so smoke will come out of it when the fireplace is on. That'll help. Now I'm kind of starting to think if I should not furnish this. That was not my original plan. I was gonna like do the whole thing myself, but I'm wondering if we're trying to emulate this cheap old houses vibe, should I leave it unfurnished for like you all to download and mess with? We can try and put in all of the default fixtures everywhere. We can have like sconces and ceiling lights and the counters, maybe some built-ins, but oh, uh oh, but maybe we could intentionally leave it not fully furnished so that way you could use it. We'll see. Let me go through and add some stuff to this and then we'll see. I think that in the kitchen, I hate to say it, but the base game counters, they're kind of good for this. This kitchen is kind of 
scarily laid out, I must say. <laughs> I don't know about this place. I never know where to put the fridge in places like this. Okay, so they can have a huge sink in front of the window. Hello? Sorry, that was my email. I thought I had the page closed. Turns out I did not. <laughs> okay, so this fridge can go there. I guess maybe I'll do a smaller window just, just right here, like next to it. Oh, this place is gonna be so expensive, especially considering how small it is. I'm using like really pricey stuff in here and that's dangerous. Okay, here's my next idea. And this is maybe a bad idea, but I wanna have a bar. I get asked this a lot, but you are able to put bars like this, by the way, you can put them up against the corner. It still works just fine. Your Sims only need to access this side of it. Like obviously if you want to, you can put things on the other side and have bar stools there, but they don't need to be sitting there and they can grab drinks off the back. Like this can totally be up against the wall. I do it all the time. So I think it might be kind of fun if we had a bar up against the wall in this room. I just would like for it to be centered. And it can't really do that, can it? <laughs> I don't really think that that's possible, I guess. Maybe if we did it like this, it would be okay. But that's kind of cool, like the built-ins in the back corner. There can maybe be like a built-in couch. Like this one has really old school sort of vibes, so we could totally do that in here. And then I guess just like a really small table right in the middle. This one is one of my favorite tiles in the game. I don't know if I should use it in that really dark, color scheme, but I'm really tempted to. I think it looks kind of cool. I wonder if pairing it with this like old subway tile would kind of make sense. I think that looks kind of nice together, perhaps. I'm not trying to build something historically accurate, so I don't know why I'm overthinking it this much. <laughs> it's not gonna be historically accurate, even if I wanted it to be. <laughs> now, the real question is, am I only partially furnishing this build because it's better for the vibes? Or am I partially furnishing it because I'm sick and I feel too weak to go on? <laughs> <laughs> the age old question, what's the truth here? Okay, I'm gonna try this sort of ugly tile in the kitchen. I'll use that and then I won't add anything else because we're trying to leave this like as if you bought the house and you're moving in. I'm only trying to include things that are attached fixtures. So like this to me is attached, so it's there. This attached, so it's there. Oh, we should do like light switches. <laughs> the unswitchable switch. Maybe I'll put like three of them all in a row here. That happens in real life, I could see that. Same thing, there's probably like two switches here. There's a switch in my living room that literally has like five switches on it because it has the ones for the patio and the kitchen and the living room. <laughs> so it's got like all the switches. It's literally like a huge line like this in the living room. Mine's not gonna be that big in The Sims. <laughs> I'm thinking two maybe. Okay, this is such a silly request, but my number one most wanted like small thing for The Sims. Like if they were to add something small and silly, what would it be? I want them to to add in outlets, like little outlet covers. Same thing as the switch, but it's an outlet and you can put it down at the bottom. That is my dream right now. I just like those little details. I find it really fun to think about that kind of thing. And wow, this house is dark. Okay, here's another question. Should I put the fireplace like in there? Cause that does save us a little bit of room in the rest of the space. And it's kind of small, so it wouldn't hurt to have that little bit of extra room. I'm trying not to use too many additional packs in this, but I'm kind of tempted to have some funky wallpaper choices in a few of the rooms. I could totally see that happening in a place like this, so I'm kind of trying to channel that. Ooh, I don't really like this one, but I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> I think that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying not to be dramatic, but I like tweaked something or like pulled a muscle in my back yesterday and I'm just not doing well. <laughs> my head's kind of spinning because I've got COVID and my back hurts. And when I laughed just then, it like kind of hurt really bad. I'm suffering and now I'm getting emails. I thought I closed that. I do like the idea of something quite fancy like this with the fancy paneling and stuff in the living room. And maybe we could do something even fancier. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't like that one, sorry. Maybe I'll do like a patterned wallpaper in this room. This one's kind of cool. That kind of matches too. I like how bold it is. I think. And perhaps we do like one more kind of fancy, interesting wallpaper in this room. Oh, this one comes with green. It has like that light green color. Oh, okay. Well there, duh, we have to use that one. And I'll go through and paint every other wall with the other swatch. That looks pretty cool, right? Maybe? I think that might be the whole interior finish, at least for what I'm doing today. We have the kitchen, the dining room, the living room. This maybe could be like an office space. Maybe it could be like a TV room, a gaming room. I'm not really sure. Upstairs, we have a little 
little hallway with the primary bedroom and the secondary bedroom. There's a little tiny bathroom for the primary bedroom. And then, oh, I almost forgot. In this hallway, I'm kind of thinking we just do like a wall light, something very small and simple. Hopefully I can still walk past that. I'm gonna have to test it. And then a very small, very simple upstairs. This could maybe be like a cool art studio. I think that was my initial thought. Maybe you could have an easel up here or something. That seems like it fits pretty well. Okay, let's think about the outside. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure out a lot on the exterior. I'm so sorry to use another pack, but I'm kind of thinking we should have this fence from Romantic Garden stuff and get like a nice walled off backyard. We've got a cool way to access it from here. And then we could probably do, oh, you know what? How does the castle kit mossy stuff look? Probably really bad, right? Yeah, we have this gray tone. That's the problem. We have like a lot of gray and green, but then this like reddish brown. <laughs> so this matches the reddish brown, but all of the stone is like gray and green. So would that be better? That kind of has that overgrown energy. There's like plain brick. I don't know. This is not really my personal style. So I'm struggling a little bit with this. Ew, bad. Okay, never mind. Not that. Yeah, not sure about that either. I think we need like a brownish color. Oh, no, 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 nothing works. None of it looks good. I want them to have a backyard so bad. Let me come back to that. I'm gonna put some trees in first. I know I really want to have some big oak trees. Like it's a big old house in an old neighborhood. I say that while there's, you know, literally no neighbors. <laughs> but we're pretending, okay? Oh, you know what might help us? If we had a bush right here, just a little bit of separation, I think, would be really good. Cause all of a sudden the patio is not like right up against it. How does that stone color look? Oh, that matches. Okay, so that's a start. This stone kind of matches too. Doesn't mean I like it, but it does match. It looks better in the front like that, I think. Okay, we can't have a window here cause it didn't really work, but what about a little ivy trellis? That could be pretty. On this back patio, this is a good spot for like a table. Over here, this in general is a good spot for like an outdoor kitchen, maybe like a chess table. Why? Does that have to come with the ivy on it? I think that's the color that technically matches. It's just that the it looks a bit off, like the creamy color doesn't seem right. So I'm trying something with this little bush just to line the front a bit more. I'm not really sure what the best landscaping for this would be. Obviously we can't really use a reference photo because the photo is like overgrown mess. <laughs> they don't have any landscaping in that picture. So I don't really know how to emulate that, I guess is the problem. I really prefer to do some slightly more organic seeming landscaping. Like when I have the opportunity, I like to do things like this and kind of just add in some low lying flowers and then fill in with bushes. So what that kind of looks like, at least to me, is that I might get some of these big green bushes, kind of put those in the corner. I may use some of these and just fill in a little bit more with that too. And then I would mix in flowers in front of them kind of to fill in the rest of the space. That's what looks best to me. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm an expert. In fact, sometimes I think I'm not good at landscaping. I am liking the general vibes of this though. I think it's simple and subtle and I really like the accent of the red flowers. So I think we can try and use that in the back. There is a tree right here, which is so inconvenient. I guess I'll just landscape around the tree. The only problem is you can't like get too close to it because then it disappears like that. <laughs> so when you try and zoom in to see how it looks, oh, it's gone. That seems okay to me. Okay, once we have some terrain paint, it'll be better. You know what? We can maybe even do terrain paint with this part. Maybe terrain paint is kind of like the way to go because then we can make it a bit more natural seeming. Oh yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with the stone. Any stone will probably do. Oh, this one's so good. Let's Let's try that because I kind of want to have it go like that somehow where it like curves in and then I'll obviously fill in around all that with the dirt. This kind of gives it some dimension and layering or whatever. We can put a little bit of dirt along the side of that. Okay, that seems like it's better to me. I kind of prefer that. And then we got some dirt underneath that bush. I'll put some underneath this tree. All of these bushes in the front need some terrain paint. And we can go through and kind of clean up the weird messy parts. Like this is not looking very good. So I can try and erase a bit. Okay, I think I might just get a little bit more of the floral stuff over here, like kind of in this corner. I don't know how 
far it should go. I might put it all the way across though. My philosophy is usually just like, you know, the more flowers, the better, right? <laughs> In this case, I kind of feel like it's, it's like a more the merrier kind of thing where the more flowers, the better. It helps to make it look better on the outside. Just cover the stuff you don't like with flowers. <laughs> I don't love the shape of this space. So I want to add some flowers in to hide it. Plants make the world of a difference. I hated this part. All of a sudden the trellis makes it better. Hated the corner, flowers filled it in. It looks pretty nice, I think. So a couple last minute touches. We are going to need a trash can, which I usually like to put out here. I also kind of forgot about adding in a fire alarm and stuff. I normally don't on purpose, but we'll get an actual fire alarm. Maybe I'll get a full on fire system too. We have space for it right here. Maybe I'll put it on the chimney. Would you have it there? I don't know, but it works. And I'll get us a thermostat as well, because that would be nice to have. It's a modern house. It's move in ready if you will. <laughs> and I still don't know about the roof color. Oh, the roof, it looks like a default roof. And I don't think I love the walls, but I'm trying to allow myself to branch out to swatches and textures I don't normally go for. And this is definitely different for me. And I also think that it looks like the build. I mean, it, it looks like the real life house that we're trying to replicate. Obviously the colors aren't perfect, but they weren't gonna be. You can see the energy at least. You can see what we tried to do. <laughs> the roof shape's a bit strange as well, but I'm gonna let myself be happy with this. And I think I'm going to put it on the gallery for you. I'm going to call it unfurnished old house. It is 42,685 simoleons. <laughs> I wrote it's unfurnished and ready for you to add your touches to it. <laughs> and I'll stick it up on the gallery. If you want to download this, my name is just Lil Simsy on the gallery. You could download it and try and renovate it yourself or like try and furnish it. It does use growing together, high school years, cottage living seasons, cats and dogs, get together, realm of magic. Oh, the wallpaper. Oh yeah. Strangerville. Oh, the door. Oh my God. One from paranormal stuff, two things from romantic garden stuff, and then one thing from the decor to the max kit. So really the main thing obviously is growing together because of the main furniture outside. The rest of it is all in the details. There's like a couple items from a couple of packs, but if you don't have them, it's not the end of the world. It's mostly just growing together that you're going to need. And if you do end up trying to renovate this or furnishing it, I check the hashtag look Lil Simsy a lot on the gallery. So you can post things there and I can see them for like general stuff too, like sims that you make. I'm trying to get some more sims for my 100 baby challenge save. So if you've got any sims that you've made that are like baby daddy types, <laughs> that would also be helpful for me. But I think with that, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and huge thank you again to our sponsor, Word Farm Adventure. If you want to check out the game, I've got it linked down below for you. It's free to download and you'll get my welcome bonus. So have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye everybody. I'm sorry to alarm you with my illness. I did manage to record this whole video today though. I'm, I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not thriving, but I'm fine.